sinus venosus atrial septal defect continue to be the surgeon's domain even when transcatheter device closure of secondum atrial septal defect became commonplace. Transcatheter closure of superior sinus venosus ASD has become a feasible alternative to surgical closure in selected patients over the past decade. A single center study of covered stent for superior sinus venosus ASD had 100 patients during the period from May 2015 to October 2023. I was quite happy to see that it was from Institute of Cardiovascular Diseases Madras Medical Mission Chennai, India which I had the opportunity to visit a couple of times in the past. Median age of patients was 35 years with the range from 4 to 69 years. Children were included if their superior vena cava diameter was 16 mm or more. Others noted an overall procedural success rate of 97%. Recent modifications increased patient inclusions and decreased complication rates. The procedure has also been simplified. Initial evaluation included transthoracic echocardiography, transesophageal echocardiography and computed tomography. TEE looked for extension of the superior sinus venosus ASD towards the fossa ovalis. Significant caudal extension of the defect manifested as vertical dimension in bicaval view larger than the transverse cavo atrial diameter. CT could locate right upper pulmonary vein in relation to cavo atrial junction and identify high draining pulmonary veins. Those with significant caudal extension and those without large high draining additional pulmonary veins were considered for balloon interrogation. Cases found suitable after balloon interrogation underwent closure of the superior sinus venosus ASD with covered stents. Additional uncovered stents at upper part may be considered in case of high draining veins. After